Good day learners. Welcome to our science class. In today's topic, we will discuss the processes of the digestive system, which are ingestion, absorption, assimilation, and excretion. Let's start. The digestive system is important for the processing of food to get nutrients and other important molecules for the life. There are five main processes in the digestive system. These are ingestion, digestion, absorption, assimilation, and excretion of digestion. The first process is ingestion. It is the intake of food in the mouth either by eating or drinking. In ingestion, the tongue receives stimuli to determine the taste of the food. The saliva in the mouth lubricates the food. The food will be digested afterward. After ingestion, digestion starts. It is the breaking down of food into soluble molecules. There are two types of digestion, these are mechanical and chemical. Mechanical digestion happens only in the mouth with the aid of the teeth. The teeth chew, grind, and slice the food into smaller pieces. Chemical digestion starts in the mouth. The saliva in the mouth contains enzymes such as amylase which digests sugar molecules. Afterward, the tongue and the throat will push the food into the esophagus. In the esophagus, the food moves to the stomach through an involuntary muscular movement called peristalsis. In the stomach, the food will be bathed with gastric juice. The gastric juice breaks down proteins into amino acids. Hydrochloric acid kills bacteria and other microbes. Several enzymes also digest food into different molecules. The food is now converted into a semi-liquid state called chyme. The chyme is now moved into the small intestine for the last phase of digestion. Several enzymes break down fats into fatty acids and smaller molecules, carbohydrates into simple sugars, and proteins into amino acids. During absorption, there is a passing of soluble molecules or nutrients into the circulatory system via the capillaries. It happens in the internal folds of the small intestine known as the villi. These folds allow for maximizing the absorption of nutrients into the body. Aside from the nutrients, the water is also absorbed by the body in the large intestine. The large intestine also contains bacteria that digest leftovers in the chyme to maximize the intake of nutrients in the body. After the process, it is now ready for excretion. Assimilation is the process by which molecules move into the cells for different cellular processes. For instance, glucose molecules are carried in the muscles for movement. The process is carried out by the circulatory system. In the digestive system, the term for excretion is specially called defecation. Defecation removes undigested materials from the large intestine. If not excreted, it can lead to health problems. The feces are excreted through the anus. The digestive system is important for the processing of food to get nutrients and other important molecules for life. There are five main processes in the digestive. Ingestion, digestion, absorption, assimilation, and excretion. Ingestion is the intake of food in the mouth either by eating or drinking. Digestion is the breaking down of food into soluble molecules. Absorption is the passing of soluble molecules or nutrients into the circulatory system. Assimilation is the process by which digested molecules move into the cells for different cellular processes. And excretion i the removal of undigested materials from the large intestine. Let us check your understanding. You ate going to choose the correct answer for each item. Are you ready? Let us start. 1. Where does mechanical digestion happen in the digestive system? Great job! It is in letter A, mouth. 2. Which of the following processes pertains to the intake of food to the mouth from different sources? Very good! The correct answer is D, ingestion. 3. Which of the following processes pertains to the intake of nutrients into the circulatory system for assimilation? Good job! 
The answer is B, absorption. 4. Where does the absorption of water of the chyme happen? Amazing! The correct answer is D, large intestine. And for the last item, 5. Which of the following processes pertains to the removal of undigested materials in the body? Correct. The answer is B, excretion. How many correct answers did you get? Amazing. You did a great job. I hope you learned from our discussion today. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell to be updated in the upcoming videos. For the next video we will discuss how diseases of the digestive system are prevented, detected, and treated. See you in the next video. Keep safe and God bless.